Hello, it's been a while, and double said that in the world of Minecraft, thunder. It's outside. There is a storm outside. Okay, so what's this? As you can see, I've got a mana bar on the left bottom side, and I've got two books. One of the books is World Hunter's Third Edition book, and the second book is a quest book. Welcome to World Hunter's Third Edition. This mod pack turns your Minecraft experience into a progression-based action RPG game. It's aimed to be played over a longer period of time and has many accessibility settings to customize your prey true to suit your playstyle. In this quest line, yada yada yada, before you start playing, we made sure that to set the difficulty to suit you, yada yada yada, your own game mode can be set using the game mode rule and so on. I mean, it's set on normal, so yeah. Okay, we're gonna get some world sakes, as you can see, the first mod item we acquire, and the second one is gonna be a Quaro Chromatic Iron. This is the icon, that's uh, the way it looks. We can find it at Y-30. So yeah, that's gonna be the gist of it. The videos are gonna be quite long and as you can see this quest book here, we can access the quest if we press H and then there we go. And as you can see we've got quite a lot of quest before us. We are playing on the version uh, 14, yeah. The version 15, the major one, is gonna be in J July, yeah. Because that's what Iskal said in his latest tweet about World Hunters. So yeah, that's more or less it. The beginning of this mod pack is pretty much the same as to a normal Minecraft experience. So yeah, you gotta search resources, get wood, get stone and so on. But it's a bit different too. If I press M, we can see a big map and we don't have a lag again because I want to find a village ASAP. So yeah, I've got a bit of logs. Okay, it's lagging, I don't know why. Okay, never mind, ignore that little <laughs> a bit of unlucky setting. Okay, we've got a boat and more or less I can just take two sticks, an axe, a pickaxe. And we can more or less go. As you can see, the monsters have health bars. I mean, <laughs> the sheep. And you can see we've got such cool wood like coconut, and you can strip it. We've got the typical sugar cane. Oh, yeah. oh no. what did I do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We got coconut, coconut, go, 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 coconut. Okay. Let's go into the boat and onto on the uh, journey. Oh. And yeah, for the terrain generation, it's using uh, Terra Leaf. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, it's cool, I guess. Oh yeah. Uh, on the bottom right you can see the armor levels, but that's for a little bit later, but one thing which you all should know, probably right now, is that this mod pack is a little bit different compared to other mod packs. Because the mods you do unlock a little teeny bit later down the line. If I press H and go here, to the alchemy uh, bottle, you can see researches, and then we can, for example, unlock the mods here. But after you unlock one mod, <laughs> you need then that many more uh, knowledge stars. About that, we are gonna explain or explore those one in a bit, but not a short bit, I can <laughs> say to you. For me, it's a mod pack which I played a lot in the past from the 1.16 version, which was the grindy grindy one, to this one. Oh, nice. We've got a little bit more iron than I thought. And that's down. Okay, I'm gonna get it either way. Because you want to have a list and iron sword if you want to get you know, the stuff you need. 
Um, t where do we are? Do we see a village currently? No. Because this is already the second time I'm recording it, because the first time I haven't found a village in a day, so I can hope that we are gonna be a little bit more lucky this time. If not, then I'm gonna use the seed from the testing world, which I did load for the first time and checked out some stuff here. In that one I do agree that the world spawn was quite lucky to have two villages right next to each other and one of them is a castle one, which we can find even here later down the line or even sooner if we got a bit lucky. Okay, how does it look? It doesn't look too good. Come on, we can do it more exciting than this, right? Come on, come on, whenever you are, you are gonna be my village, because that's the first thing I want to find in a place you. It's gonna help me really a lot, and I can just hope I won't get striked because, <laughs> because of my singing. I mean, I have no reason to sing, but it's just that I like it. <gasps> what do I see? What do I see? I see a village. Yes. Let's go. And wait, I do want to get that sugar cane. Sugar cane. Hello, doggo. Hello. But yeah, as you can... Oh, I need that. I need that. And I need that too. This. Okay, the second thing I want... It's gonna be a little bit of coal. Yeah, I'm a savage, I'm destroying the environment. You people are probably cringing. Why are you destroying here? You're gonna get a lot of stuff in the mines, but yeah. No one's gonna ever see that, right? You're not gonna say to anyone. You're not gonna be a, how do I say it? It's the little a snitch, right? You're not gonna be a little snitch, right? Come on. Ooh, that's a big vein of coal. Nice. Oh my. After the first world run, or before the first world run, we're gonna get probably one skill point, which I'm not too sure. But before that we need to make sure the villagers are safe because of the zombies. Because we, as a player, are really weak currently. And if you want to know how we can save the villagers from their independent doom... Oh, nice! Something's not right. I know what's not right. Controls, keybinds. Where is it? Okay, I'm gonna find it a bit later. But you're gonna know it in a bit. That I do will say. Oh, we've got a pumpkin. We can then make pumpkins. Okay, here is the village. There should be some villagers. This is gonna be my early, early base. And there are they. <laughs> yep, shift right click. Shift right click. Shift right click. No, no, no. I need you to be here. Because I need to do something. Wait, there is one sort 
sword, yes. No, control, keybinds. Third target, inventory, middle button. Okay, done. 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 So, yes. See? This is the best. Do we sleep through the first night? I mean, we can. Yeah, let's go sleep. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Okay, I'm gonna leave this at that. What are you? Okay, let's see. The little boy can go here. But, 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 but. It's only those three. And yeah, a uh, bit berries. We're gonna need a lot of chests. The early game. Of this game oh yeah it's barrels i remember and we've got a bell nice you probably have no idea why I'm, why am i so excited about the bell but yeah you're gonna find it out a little bit later down the line oh no where are they jerry They are fishermen. Fishermen should have probably, if I remember well, fishermen should be barrels, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we want to find the barrels for the two of them, which they should go to them. I'm pretty sure about that. But where could they be? <gasps> oh yeah, there they are. Nice. Because they have a little bit of a problem, the villagers, that sometimes you cannot cycle the trades if they are still, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, under the influence, so to speak. Wait, does it destroy? Do I destroy it if I do it with this one? Uh, no, I rather not risk it for the biscuits, so yeah, I'm gonna smelt up the iron I have. Oh yeah, uh, why? There's one smelter up there. Come on, smelty smelty boy, smelty smelty boy. Oh yeah. Um, there we go. We're gonna do a pickaxe, so I'm gonna need sticks. And sticks. And one and two and three. Okay, I can make a sword from two, but I want a third one. After getting the pickaxe, we're gonna pretty much set our spawn and then just go right there, right into it. Horsey. Okay, and if you press uh, number one on the numpad, and <laughs> you can see uh, this horse has 2.72 jump height and the speed of 7. The second one here is a free jumper and 12 blocks. That's a little bit uh, for the horse lovers. You know, the guys who really like their horses. I want to save the coal if I can. I mean, yeah, this should be enough. Okay, so what did I want to do? Yep, like this, a sword. Okay, pretty much, and a bucket. That's pretty much it, what I need. I mean, yeah. So we can just move to an, another village if I would want to. But I don't really want to. Or do I? I mean, not a village, but a better area. Because we can... Because when I start somewhere, I'm just probably gonna stick with it. 
for the most, most part. Yeah, I'm that kind of a lazy F word. F guy, yeah. <laughs> lazy, lazy, not bomb. What would be a good word, which ain't it really? Um... Goodbye. Goodbye, world. Okay. Um, I'm a lazy f -f 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 fish. Yeah, even true, I don't like fishes. Okay, we are hungry. So, what steak it is. So, what's a good area to start in? I mean, I can go for the Iskal style and just create a fort. Which I would really like to do. But... I mean, I always just do a big area and then... No, not big, but an area where I can be lazy about it. Yeah, that's the golden tree. Ooh, more iron. I want to be close by here, so I can just rain mine the whole area a little bit later. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about skill. So in this game we have uh, skills 2 and this skill, if I have one point inside of it, I can mine 8 blocks. But you can put more skills. If you unlock it, you can see how many points you can give inside the skill. But later, down the line, you can create uh, hammers, uh, main, uh, mining tools, which can just mine this whole area in just a few, in a minute or two, yeah. <laughs> uh, 10 by 10 hammer, which can just go burn because of the uh, mining speed. Oh no. I mean, I like it to be like this, but we are playing modded, so. <laughs> Why close myself off in such a basic area, right? Okay. Yes, eat the potatoes. Okay, let's see. I mean, we can move either way whenever we want to, so it's not really a big deal. I could have stayed at the village too, so... But it was so depressing there. And I want to have something to look out or for. No, you get me, right, viewers? Uh, F5. Yeah, you get me, right? Right. Okay. Oh, the music is going really strong. What's the... <laughs> okay, at 10. Okay, that should be fine. No. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are we? Yeah, this area looks fine. There. What did I show? Man. And yeah, I'm shifting normally with uh, shift. <laughs> with the pinky on the shift. If I need to. Uh, okay. Yeah, this area looks a lot cooler. So I can just go down there. Do I have the lilac? Yeah, I have. As you can see, I'm a little bit of a veteran, just because I know the names of the flowers. Okay. Okay, I did the jumps. Nice. There exists in this game a little bit of an easter egg with this 
but I'm not gonna say. Okay. Let's see, that's a nice flat area, more or less. Expect a few. You need to go. Okay. So first thing first, I need a crafting table. Apple. I need, don't need an apple. Okay. Let's see. Let's make a chest or. Yep. Okay. Like this. Like this. Like this. You can use uh, more types to create the same stuff. Okay. Okay, I did not want to place them this way, but okay. I'm just okaying everything right now. I don't mind, I don't mind. But I do mind. As you can see, we can have our first neighbor here. A friendly Skelly, okay. Okay, let's make it like this. Yeah, we've got a lot of wood, so about this should be enough. For the beginning storage. Yep, okay. So here are the consumables oh yeah these i need to, to plant somewhere and then in this game mode you don't want to throw a thing away <laughs> you're gonna understand it in a bit Okay, let's see, I've got, I want to have a slab, or six of them, okay, and I need a little bit of wood, okay, show it is, and if you're asking yourself why are there bells in the background, it's a church, uh, yep, okay, let's see. What did I want? Oh yeah, I want to do nothing. Yeah, no, I remember. Man, my memory is of a goldfish. Goldie. Can I blow this one? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay. This looks good. A bit later I won't be needing that, but currently, yes, I need. Oh my, the normal ones would be a lot better. Uh, whatever. Because this uh, root dirt or coarse dirt, okay. Is it in Minecraft too? In uh, the normal version. So annoying with the cars dirt. How many? Three. Three. I don't really need a bigger patch. And here three too. Okay. You can go there currently. What did I want? Those two. And. those four I need furnace here are the flowers you can go inside of here too yep 
the wooden stuff. Oh yeah, those I can place them somewhere near water, so I need you back. So front <laughs> Okay. There you go. Oh oh yeah, I forgotten. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna show it to you a bit later, but yeah, if you right click with a hole on finished crops, you can uh, harvest a three by three area. Oh, flowers of Savannah. Okay, and the villagers are gonna go inside this chest, and this chest is gonna how the rest um, oh yeah this oh yeah i need one more ah oh, whatever Ooh, no not this one this one this is the wood one some sticks a bit of food i need more food I need more food. Food! Okay, let's see. Mm, okay. Um, this is gonna be the valuables chest and this is gonna be the junk chest. Um, quest book and this book. It's, it talks about the essential things and the commands. Oh yeah, those are interesting. But it says a lot about the game, which as a beginner I would need to re retrieve, but I'm not a beginner, so yeah, I don't really mind and care. Okay, so let's see, we are here. Do Oh yeah, uh, I need one more iron ingot. Oh yeah, I've got one. Wood, mm, wood, wood, wood. What, 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 what? Can I create a shield? I've forgotten. In this game. Oh yeah, I can. Yep. Okay, so they uh, made it like this. I already forgotten about it. Um, how many? Yeah, that should be enough. For the beginning. No, not here. Here. So, set the way. Set point. And where is. And we're gonna slaughter some sheep. I'm sorry. You're gonna be the second one. With the three and four and five and six. And eight and seven. Not you, I cannot. You too. <laughs> that would be that would be not so good. Okay, let's see, 12. Yeah, that should be enough. Uh, we're here. Okay, 10 is a fair bit for the beginning, but I don't really need it because it's uh, that weak. Oh yeah, I don't need this how to you I'm gonna use, but after I get a few bits of pieces of this. We need to go to minus 30, which is gonna be in this mountain, probably. I want to descend uh, quite near here, so yeah. I need at the least a few pieces. 
in the meantime, yeah, yeah, I can explain a little bit about the game. So, firstly, you will get some abilities. But for the abilities, you need XP, and the XP you will get inside the world. How do you get inside the world? You ask yourself. Well, it's not really that easy and not really that hard to. It should be inside this book. There is said about them. Yeah, world portal. You need to use, you can see, <laughs> uh, some world stone and that you can make inside the portal. And here you can vis visualize how big it can be. For example, like this. You can just make such a portal and that would be more than enough, similar to the nerd war portals. So yeah, and for crystals you need to get this one. So that's why I needed an iron pick to get a diamond. So I need a little bit of chromatic iron, which ain't really that hard, but I need to get a bit of walled stone and walled stuff. Okay. Okay, I did explain it a bit, so currently I'm just waiting for the day, so I can just go into the mines. But yeah, I can, I mean, I can just get this little tree down too. Oh yeah, thanks god I am recording. Uh, I was scared for a bit already. Okay. And as you probably see or seen, the shield auto blocks. I can I click right click and nothing happens. Okay, editing cracks are here. I know this footage has more than four hours, and I know that I won't find the chromatic in the next half an hour. So I'm gonna cut it out a little bit. Yeah, so you. <laughs> Don't have to watch me just, you know, searching for the chromatic iron for just ages and ages. After 19 minutes of searching, well, it's not chromatic iron, but I did find a footage of me finding diamonds and it's still in chronological order. And I did find it in an aquifer, which was connected to the outer river outside, so yeah. I can hear the spiders up there. <laughs> it's funny if you go through the aquifers. <gasps> yeah, diamonds. We need at the very least one diamond, as you all know. This is gonna be our rescue. Three and four. Oh no. <laughs> It's the modest stuff. Okay. I'm still quite fine with that. At the least we've got a diamond. Oh yeah, you don't say. You don't say. You don't say. You could have I could have gone just right through here. Nice. Okay, let's get me some coal. <laughs> Which I got right here. Okay, that's like scripted, but it ain't it. Okay, I'll come back after the next bit of the interesting footage. None of the entrances were enough for me, so I just end up thinking that I'm gonna make my own. So yeah, that's why I crafted some ladders and just gone straight. To digging down. Yep, let's go. Okay, so one of them is gonna go straight down. But am I a wuss? I mean, I don't really have a lot of materials onto me. Okay, let's dig straight down. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? I don't care anymore. 
a bigger chance is the pickaxe is gonna break before we get to the level min uh, minus 30. Oh, yep. Okay, so this is gonna be this level. Okay, I do. I'm gonna light up this area a little bit. Do I want to continue go this way? I probably do want to. I mean, I've got a skelly spawner right here, so I will probably do this. Yep. Okay. Okay, I don't have any food, so this is gonna be interesting. <gasps> Diamonds. Diamonds. Okay. I need to run. But I don't want to lose all of the items I have. I mean... Geronimo! Geronimo! <laughs> yep. Okay, this is gonna be my first death. And I'm not saying that it's not gonna be, but... Do I want to blow with me? Probably nothing. But I can search the area before a little bit. And right now I know that this is not a safe area. Okay, so which way? This way is the skelly. I can just hit him a few times. Okay. So, let's go. Full HP. Uh, this I don't need. Delete. And confirm deletion. That's how you can delete the waypoint. And as you can see, we are all back. One, two, and three. Full HP, full hunger. Okay, and this shield. Great. And what do we have here? <gasps> Protection, the most useless book currently in the game. Okay, this I need, 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 and this I need. Water bucket, it's gonna be explained why, but... Yeah. What did I wanted to make? This and this into this. I mean, the whole point of caving here is uh, just to find the chromatic iron. After that, we can finally start the mode back, but it's already one hour long way. Come on. A few sweaty zombies. Okay. 
Okay, I'm alive somehow. This is amazing that we can get, but is it useful? Not really. Oh, I can finally eat something. Anyway. This is a lifesaver. Literally, music disc, bucket, string, flex it. Nice. But yeah, we've got two spawners. I mean, M. No, T. No, U. U, yes. Odd. Zombo. Dark green. Disabled. Confirm. Again, one of them. And it's gonna be the second one. You add gray. Skelly spawner disabled. If I do enable them, for example, this one, enable, you can see, yes, the that S. And I don't want to see it, so yeah. that's why I always disable my waypoints most of the time. Lemons. I mean, with fortune it would be better, but they really ain't that they're rare in this mod pack. We'll all understand it in a little bit more, in a little while, I hope. Where do we are? Where do we go? We are gonna go to find a chromatic iron or world stone. I can make one piece of bread, but do I really want to? <gasps> world stone! This is one of the things which we need to progress the game, which I'm gonna get. But... Yeah. But not directly world stone, I need the things which uh, drops from them. The shards, yes, you can see them here. Okay, so, but I need world stones too. Okay, the tough needs to go. Do I have, yes I have, so I'm gonna dig one way up. Okay, normally, I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter what you find first. Because this is something which we were looking forward to, one way or another. In the later versions, it's gonna be a semi-objective, like the quest. You can see this one. It's gonna be one or the other. Okay, how many do I have? Five. I need a few more. I want to have at the very least uh, 12. Because you need four of them to create a crystal, but you need a bit of chromatic iron too. But if you find a chromatic iron mine, I mean Wayne, then you will get a whole lot of them. And if you are scared about not having enough uh, world stone, I mean. Come on. The stuff in the walls just tons. You will void it most, uh, most of the time. Nine pieces. Twelve. Okay, that should do it currently. Let's go a little bit back before we totally die. I mean, do I want to go up there? I mean, why not? 
And as you can see, if I have it in my inventory, it shown me how many of them I have all together. It can be helpful when you later want to find the exact number of things you want to, um, how do I say it? Offer? Yeah, offer to the altar. Okay, so let's pick this here. This needs to go here. Name tag, this should go here. Flex, I'm gonna place it here. Okay, I'm gonna show you the footage of when I am already found the first piece of chromatic iron because it was so annoying. I found it three times, but the first two veins were really, really we uh, weak, small. I mean, you're gonna see it. Yeah, after 13 minutes I just gone and dig the, uh, this here. And after that I've gone deeper and deeper and further and further to a geode and yeah still didn't find it but I continued and after a little while I did find it when I gone to the right side so I'm gonna show you the moment I find it right now after another 12 minutes later <gasps> oh we find it we found it guys Girls, we found it. We found it. At the very last moment, in the most dangerous of the areas, we effing found it. Normally they are big stacks, but I don't even care. I don't even care. We found it. And I just needed only those money. Okay, and now back. Let's see if I'm gonna cry in a bit. <laughs> Let's see. But before that, before that, we're gonna press H. Quests. <gasps> 16! Okay. You know what? I don't care. We finished the quest. Not this way, but I don't care. We can do it in the vault. We can skip a few steps. Because we weren't lucky. Normally the veins are ginormous. But back there, probably because of the rain uh, generation, it got probably cut off. So the vein of... 60 or 80 blo blocks they can even have a vein of 100 was cut off so yeah we got a little bit unlucky but we don't mind it right we don't mind can we go sleep no we can't okay so before that annual harvesting session I'm gonna need three books and one lecturer okay so oh yeah these I don't need to put up there this Yes. I mean this I don't care, this I don't care. I need this to be smelted. Do I need this? No I don't. I don't. I don't. Torches I'm gonna need. So firstly... Yep, we've got enough diamonds. So I'm gonna create a diamond pickaxe. There we go. About efficiency and the other stuffs, I don't really care at the moment. I do I'm gonna care in a bit, but... 
I don't. Exactly. Because inside of this game it is a little bit di uh, different. Oh yeah, and I need how many? One, two, three, four stones. But I'm gonna use six. Okay, after that, do I need this stone cutter? Three of them, so one more. And the iron. Stone cutter can be here this is my treasure and this is the way we are gonna create the world crystal Ta -da! but the crystal on its own is useless it's literally useless on its own for it to have a value we need to put it onto a world altar Onto this thing. <gasps> Obsidian. Oh, no. So I need to go back down. Or not. Can I find a bit lava somewhere here? Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's go find the lava. I'm not gonna be sticking with <laughs> this. Oh yeah, um, the other thing which we need, because we are gonna on a little adventure, I need, what do I need? Jar. Animal jars, so we need glass and polished. Okay, so 16 of them. With the shovel it would be a lot easier, but we're gonna do with what we are gonna do. I want to have it at the least how many? Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's seven, so at the world is 21, but if we can then 28. Okay, got precisely 28. Turum, turum, turum. Six of them. Do I have enough cobble? I do have enough cobble. Okay, and Firstly, we're gonna do some jars. Because that's the way we're gonna stack our animals. It's one of the easiest way, but that's only a side quest too. <laughs> and I'm gonna go here for the obsidian and I do want to have it already at hand. So yeah, I'm just preparing for the inevitable future. Four and four. So one jar. Do we need at the very least four? But oh yeah, I can only make four. So 
to the rest is gonna go here. Yep. Four, 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 that should be enough. Two, and then update two more. Six. Yep, one more. Seven. And this is gonna be for the last one. Oh yeah, it's midday. And yeah, I'm gonna need to... <laughs> Get some cows. Okay. <gasps> Rabbits. Rabbits are quite hard to get early in the game. So this. Wait. Yeah, with the shield it doesn't work. Yes. And you need at the very least two animals to breed them inside the jaw, uh, pen. Okay, three. Okay, so where do we go? Yes, try straight there. This was a surprise, to be told. Of course, we do want to have some sheep, because sheep are the foundation for most of the stuff in this game. No, not most of the stuff, but a lot of the stuff. The wool can help a lot. The food and for the world altar. Okay, one sheep. I don't really care about <laughs> just one sheep. Firstly, we need cows, and then sheep, and then chickens. So, chicken is gonna be you. Three, and the four, and the sheep, and the sheep. This way. Oh, so it's like this. Oh my. That's messed up for me at the very least. Okay, obsidian, it goes. We need two more. Uh, one more after this one. Okay, let's eat a little bit. Ice bucket challenge, let's go. It's getting slowly dark. But we cannot end when we are on a roll, why right? Yep. Okay, so we can make it like this. Got enough. So where is our spawn there? Okay. Okay, but I don't want a cow because of the ladder. Oh yeah. I need to deal with them one way or another. One way or another. Get you, get you, get you, get you one way or another. Oh no. I mean, 
I should have lit the area up. Do I have something here? Nope, not really. Can I sleep? Oh, probably, yeah. Mm, okay. This is enough. <gasps> yes, we've got a carrot! We got a carrot. Carrots are quite annoying to get, so yeah, that I am happy for. The cows are not here? What the? I don't even have a ladder. Can I craft ladder? I mean in this game, in this game mode. Yes, and from the rabbits, four of them to one and I need three. Rabbit, eat carrots, so no. It would be hard, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, firstly, first thing first, I need this. Great fence. With spruce, uh, spruce fence. Yep, that should be enough. Then a bit of them. And I think it's like this. Yes. Okay. Animal pen. Oh yeah. Like this. Okay. So where are gonna be? They are gonna be here. One, two, and three. If I press shift, you can see how many of them are there. Let's see, I need the bones, which I have enough. That's how easy it is to get the carrots. Okay, after this I need to yeah, light up the area. I've got a quite a nice share of coal, so yeah. Currently, it's gonna be just a riffraff of this torch spam. Torch spam. Okay, that should do it for the beginning. Oh yeah, the rabbits are ready. Then, nice. Okay, a dual release like this. Them. 10 to 10. Okay, I need four between. Oh, yeah, that's experience and shift. Affected by looting. Oh no. Please. I don't want to search for the cows currently. Okay, it's getting a little bit boring, so I'm gonna just uh, jump right to the next step. I already cut out more than one hour of footage, so I can cut out even more, right? <laughs> okay, let's craft the table. We need two of them, two of them, one of them, and two of them. Right? Oh, altar. Okay. The world altar, and we're gonna craft it here, like this. It's a shame that you cannot progress in the quests like in a way which would be like, how do I say it? In a way that you can do this, 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 but I do understand why too. Yeah. Do we want to finish this so we can get this and this and this and this? Or do we just plonk this down and we can see what our crystal is? I mean, it depends, so we can check it. Oh, we need leaves, dirt, sticks and coal. Coal, got sticks. Dirt, I do have enough of dirt. Because I'm dirty little 
guy. As you can see, those kinds of recipes are what we are gonna be dealing with. That's why you will particularly need every resource you can find in the game. In the game. Yay game, in the game. Theoretically we can go into the world, but it will be a bit harder without the first skill point, which we would probably get from the quest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do I make it myself harder for me? I mean... I mean, I like it hard. I mean, why not? And here are the last 10 minutes crafting a lan uh, lectern and what? I don't know what more, so yeah. I mean, after the first uh, run, it would be, it will be a lot easier. Uh, what do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Truth be told, the wool guy is a good idea, but the lectern guy, I've forgotten that it's gotten obsolete in World Hunters. <laughs> so yeah, it can really happen after you don't play the mod pack for a few <laughs> months. So uh, yeah. Let's go right into vaulting, I think, right? One, two, three, four. Okay, that should be enough for the beginning portal. What more do I need? Oh yeah, this better sword I think yep 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 mm, where is Aaron there is Aaron okay let's go oh no before that we need to press the button Bonk. Yes, we've got the first crystal. It is level zero. Objective nothing. <laughs> Question marks. Okay, but before that, we're gonna do this. Because this area is gonna be loaded, even when we are not here, I want that this stuff is going to be growing. Okay. So this is going to go here. We don't recover HP, but because level 0 to 20, I mean these yellow ones, the yellow levels here, Um, if we are there, we still got the protection so of the world gods. That means we don't lose a thing. So we can just go right into it. The world advancement mate. Eureka. Okay, this is quite an interesting world. Um, if we are in the first room, we can just wait a little bit for the area to load up, as you can see. And the timer on the bottom left, I will go inside inventory. As you can see, this timer is on hold. The moment we leave the room inside the floor, uh, the timer runs. When, we, uh, when the timer goes to zero, we lose the world, we die inside the world and lose all the stuff if we are more than level 20. Of course there are some exceptions depending on the type of wall to run or if you have a special modifier. For example, we've got insurance so traps are not trapped because it's a beginner's grace world. It means that if I die inside the world I will keep my inventory but the things I have for example, these and the later armor, it's gonna go down with the durability. After that, we've got 
Yeah, this is the beginner's insurance. Okay. So I did explain a little bit and right now we can go right into it. The, the elixir world is just a world where you just go and just play. Defeat the enemies. Oh yeah. And I cannot uh, regen health. So yeah. As you can see the blobs that fell, the purple ones, those are gonna go up to the elixir. Even when I open the chest. Okay, we are getting stuff. At the beginning the wooden chests are the most uh, needed. Even uh, just opening it, it's gonna give me XP. Oh, skeletons are giving me a lot of stuff. You know what, this is not needed and this is not too. I know it because I played the game, so that's why. Those are something like uh, junk items, but you can use it, for example, as uh, fuel or, for example, for blocks. Uh, I mean, for decorations. Vanilla swords have a sweeping edge, but World swords don't have it. So yeah. And I don't really mind if I even die because I will have all my items. Still, I don't lose a thing because of the beginner's insurance. But we want to finish the world at the least because of the XP of the uh, yellow bar. And we've got an Omega chest! Wall diamonds, pearls, bounty pearls, this will all be explained in a bit, the moment we finish. Oh nice, another one. Rare chest. Okay, let's go up there. We want to find an ornate chest. Ooh, nice, a lot of XP. I heard something which I'm scared of, but it's on the other side, yes. I need to destroy it. These are, oh yeah, I can pick up those. I mean, I don't know, the, how do I say it, torches. A lot of them, a lot of them. And here I just press right click to finish the world. I mean the Alexia one. Okay. Coins give quite a fair amount. Coins can be compressed with a crafting, you know, table. There are a lot of things that are stackable that can be compressed, so coins is really good to just do this, this, this and this. And it's compressed. Hey, we've got the first ore. Let's see. At the beginning, if you don't know what 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 does do, you can just pick everything, and then later down the line you will find out what's for what. So yeah, that's a beginner advice that we all get from the beginning, from the get go. And yeah, they take uh, full damage too. Our first gem, it was nothing. Because they have a chance to not drop a thing too, so yeah. That's a bummer. 
But yeah, as you can see, the bar is already halfway through, and we've spent only five minutes in the upper uh, upper part. Oh no, zombies! Zomb uh, baby, 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 babies are dangerous. Oh yeah, cacti. I'm gonna need some uh, later. Okay, what's this? A wooden POI. Uh, point of interest. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, we've got one of them. And if we find an another one, we can craft a shulker, sh uh, shulker box, and which will help us a lot. Tremendously. Okay, uh, the ore one I'm gonna leave for a bit later. Oh no. Okay. Let's close. Okay. Yo, this is not needed, but these are needed. <laughs> Our first gear piece. Okay, we are gonna roll it right away because we've got nothing on to us. What kind of helmet do we get? <gasps> Omega, okay. Okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. And it's not even scripted. <laughs> no, first world. Okay, and we do want to pick with us the anvil because it's a normal anvil not damaged one <gasps> oh yeah there is an poi up there which i didn't notice okay so let's go up there for a bit because why not that's one way you can use a bucket Okay, it doesn't burn, nice. Okay, we... Okay, I'm not gonna... Carbon is needed. I know what's what and what's needed because I played this game a lot, so yeah. I'm gonna explain it in a bit after I finish the world, if I finish it, if I survive. Oh yeah, we can go here. Or do I want to explain a bit? Okay, I'm gonna explain a bit. Okay, as you can see, this is my helmet. It got armor, durability, and then other stuff. The basic ones, the implicit, can change. Everything can change, but mostly you can only change prefixes or suffixes with uh, those items, with those foci. This can uh, widely reroll the prefixes and suffixes, but currently, truth be told, those are already really good, so I don't really need to change them. I mean, for a level 0 helmet, this is amazing. And the soul bond, this means that it's gonna stay on me even if I die. So, if, uh, example, I die in this world, anyway, I would uh, have it with me. But if it was level 21, all of my gear would be lost, expect this helmet. This helmet would be with me because it's soul bound. And the same uh, is in the overworld. So yeah, that's why it's really good. But one thing, world gear cannot have mending onto them. So yeah, it's a fa uh, it's a finite type of a gear. But in the old world, they don't take damage. So yeah. And about the armor, 
I'm gonna craft after I get a bit later up there a whole a full set of gear and you're gonna see you can compare it how strong it is compared to normal uh, gear oh my where was it is it up here or is it down there <gasps> oh yeah I forgotten which way I came inside but I think it was this way I should have marked it yep the easiest way I'm doing it always like this, but I haven't played this game in a bit, so yeah. This and this, yep. I know you know I came from here. And it's such a great way to mark it. These shards are for the black market. They are useful, so that's why I'm gonna throw away the sticks for them. Sticks go away. Benny, we've got Benny. Benny or tight. Okay, but before that we've gonna finish these. Okay, and I can hear them, but you cannot see them. Doesn't really matter. They are here. Oh, here is he. There you are. Okay. Let's see, let's go dig a bit and go to the other room. Because I'm explaining and talking a lot, I'm not really uh, focusing on the game. If you get this Ashium, I'm gonna press 1 on uh, the Nam key. Yes. No. I mean, yeah, I didn't... Oh, yeah, I did get it. Okay. And I do want the shard to... So, yeah. That's what I'm gonna focus on. Ooh. Oh no. This ain't looking good. I don't have inventory space. So what am I gonna... You know what? Cacti can go away. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna come back in a bit. If if not, it doesn't really matter. Because the other rooms are gonna be even bigger, even better. So I'm gonna try to, you know, complete the vault at the least. And try to hope at the least one of the shulkers. Okay, let's, okay, I came from here. Okay, I can go from here away to home. I can cheese them, but it ain't really needed currently. I'm not really that bad. Okay. So the wood is already... Yeah. I can compress it, but... No. Nah. Normally for the first uh, vault run, you would already have a shulker. Because you would uh, progress uh, by the cross line, but yeah. I was just so eager because I didn't find uh, 16 chromatic raw, uh, raw iron. Yeah. Read is good. 
as our literal friend always likes to say. Who's the friend? Of course, it's gonna be Skull. E Skull. Oh yeah. I don't have a way to compress them. Well, in the beginning it doesn't really matter. Right, I just want to get more of the XP. Yes, we can make it, we can make it. Okay, let's go to the previous room. But we, no, we don't even need to go there. Okay, let's see. Let's see, we've got the chest here. I'm just gonna dump some stuff here. Like, what do I? Just carbon the... If the worst come to worst, I mean. Oh yeah, I can make it like this. This I can leave here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see. I've got nine planks, so I can make one chest, which can make a shulker. And with right click, I can press the things automatically inside the shulker. It's the best thing ever. Okay, so we are free of inventory space and we can pick up things again. Nice. Nice. What does it do? Stick stack. Oh, those are only sticks. Okay. I don't care about the sticks. And because I'm a sweaty gamer, I'm gonna pick up the rest of the items. I can only hope the coins didn't uh, despawn, but if yeah, I don't really. Oh, they didn't. Nice. Nice. No, I don't want to finish the world. But I do want to go back to the first room. Yep. You know why? Because we've got some of the good stuff in there. Some of the goodies. Okay, I just hope I don't die because of a silly mistake. Like it can <laughs> really easily happen. Okay. I've taken some of them because I don't know if I took enough of them. Okay. Then let's go. Because whenever you are mining, I mean the ores, the world ores, like this uh, pizza night, there is always a chance that, uh, yeah, you can uh, not drop it. It will roll for zero. So yeah, that's one part of the game, if anything.
Okay, let's go get those parts and go to the next room and after that we are gonna go right back. Because grid is good, right? I mean, we still got five minutes. And about half of the HP. Of course, we are gonna be greeting. Oh no. Oh no. I want to have some ornate chests, but... Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, I will get this first. Yeah, that's one of the setting. Middle mouse, left hold shift and is it just shift or yeah, it's just shift. Okay, I'm holding uh, control shift because I'm just used to it, but you just need shift. World fighters, nice. This is epic because of the ding. I'm gonna check out uh, this last one. Oops, what was that? A buck. Okay, got it. Nice. Okay, I, I can hear the body. I can hear the little body. Okay, right click and we are complete. Oh yeah, I missed this one. Probably. Oh yeah, they cannot uh, hit me. Uh, yes, as you can see, if we finish the vault, it's gonna give me a lot of info. For example, coin piles collected. 57 times did I mine the coin piles. Ores, 7 times did I mine the ores. Just looted. 59. Mobs unlived. Killed. 60, 64. Time left, time spent. Experience multiplier. And there we got more of them. As you can see, 54 uh, of the wooden, 1 omega. Gilded three of them, or an eight two. Oh yeah, they were even gilded. Here is the mob overview. That's for the multiplayer. This is for the modifiers and the, yep, that's more or less it. As you can see, I will get a crate and the XP. The XP is measured like this. If I press claim, oh, I'm level six already. <laughs> yeah. Last sight, transmog. What does it do? Wait. Last sight. Okay, I'm gonna check it out a bit later. But okay. Um... Oh yeah, without any healing because it's the first world. So yeah, we I didn't heal a thing, and because it was uh, so easy. I got the achievement, it's amazing. Okay, we need a chest for the world stuff. Okay, it's gonna be a barrel currently. Nah, a barrel is too weak. We need a double chest. Okay, this is gonna be the world stuff. So firstly we've got some gems, 
and a shulker with more gems. These two types are quite common and these are unique. Oh wait, there was Ashim too. Yeah. Three of them are unique, but I want to go sleep. So let's sort it right out. Firstly, wood. I can uh, craft back into the planks, so that's why I don't mind if I do it like this. It helps with the storage. Okay, this food can go back. Those are just some cookies. This is gonna be stacked for later. Silk and world essence and world diamonds are really needed because if I want to make an elytra, for example, I have currently the world essence and the silk, so I just need to wait uh, two nights and I can have the membrane. Coins are a uh, needed currency for pretty much everything that happens inside world hunters. So yeah. Most of the stuff is paid with uh, gold and the things for the transmogification are paid with the uh, bronze. Bronze. Okay, this I want to place here. The carbon can compress. As you can see, it's really grindy because on some builds and modes, you need so much of this stuff. And as you can see, we got even netherite scraps. Other stuff for a bit later. World cobblestone. A lot of it. This for a bit later. Silver scrap. Chipped world rock. And after that, we've got a big a bit of cacti. Okay. So, we all want to know what's this chest that we get, that we get. If I go and press shift right click, we've got a lot of stuff, a lot of loot, everything that's really wanted or needed, and some jewels too. Okay, I'm gonna take everything. And I'm gonna... For jewels, as you can see, from 13 to 35. That's all the sizes we really want. This one is a bit big. And this one is a bit big too. But that's gonna be explained for a little bit, a bit later. Okay. So. This one is for durability. This is a really good thing because you can get it only from the completion boxes arguments so you can uh, make the team for example which we had right now the mesa team are both regret so you can regret the skill point back and seven gold okay and we've got one an undefined relic fragment from the dragon set Okay, this is good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna take this, everything from here, and stuff this all here. We got finally some food. Not really the best one, but we can make this compact. Yeah, like this. We can make a cake. So whenever we are hungry, we can just go and eat it like on the place, on the go. Boop. And it's a maximum saturation. Okay, this goes here, the silk goes back, bounty pearls here. 
Okay, if I press Z on my uh, keyboard, or for you it can be Y, and then num number two over at my keyboard, I'm gonna switch here. And then right click and roll everything. Let's see, let's see, what do we get? Ooh, shiny, rare and nap, rare and uncommon. Okay, I'm gonna press like this back. So the helmet is fine, but if I press shift, I can compare them. And as you can see, mine is a bit better. <laughs> it's Omega. Okay, a wand is an offhand ability like the shield, but the shield is currently from my playstyle more suited. Boots? We've got two boots. As you can see, this has many region, but this got many region, item quantity and more armor. So of course we are gonna put them day on. And we've got a sword, better sword, because this one got 10 attack damage compared to ours, which has only six. And if I'm not, what do I say it, mistaken, Let's see. Yep. Did you see? Nothing. The durability stays zero. In the old world, we can use world weapons for farms and stuff. So, yep, that's one of the great things about world hunters. Okay, so what about the things which I don't need? We can scrap them, so we can smell them down. For example here. Uh, like this. Oh no, you need a world smell there, so... Yep, I'm gonna use a barrel for that. And this is not needed anymore too. Okay. That should do it pretty much for the first episode and you know what, I'm gonna go. Do we want to check out what's gonna be the next recipe for the altar? I mean we can. We pretty much can because we've got... Where is it? Or do we don't have any more? I know that we got fingers. Where is my ingot? Oh. Where is the ingot? It was here, the chromatic ingot. The chromatic iron. Oh yeah, uh, it's here, 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 no. Never mind, it looks like <laughs> it's time to go some mining. Yep, I lost it. I've got three of them and I somehow lost... Wait, one of them was for here, the second one was for the crystal, and the third one just is lost in translation, it seems like. Well, never mind then. Oh yeah. Uh, the second thing I wanted to do, which I'm gonna do like right now, press H, we've got abilities. Firstly, in the world we want to heal. Secondly, after we get an Elytra, we want to dash. After that, I want to wain mine for resources, which is really helpful. And then, I mean, got three skill points left and one expertise. The expertise, I'm gonna leave it at that. I mean, this is funny, so why not? Yeah, I'm gonna 
go for the legendary and here da, 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 what do I go for normally I would just go for one more level in here because I'm the hunter no hunter is not needed early game but we are pretty much out of video time so yeah do it like this, do it like this, and do it like this. Okay, so I've got it uh, bound to my mouse, as you can see. Right now, on the bottom left, as you can see down here, I've got it onto dash, so I can just go jump dash, boop, de boop. And if I hurt myself, I can just use heal and we. Okay, and the last thing, which is the most useful thing. Okay, five diamonds, get iron. Okay, let's go sleep. And I'm gonna show you the strength of Wayne Miner for the early game. I'm gonna go for Wayne Miner. Hold the ability key. Press left click. Oh my god. But of course, it's uh, the durability is like uh, needed for the all 16 blocks every time. So yeah. But even the typical trees are no more a problem. Did you see? That's the power of Wayne Miner. Woohoo! It's strong. It's epic. Cool. And just from those few uh, hits, I already got so much of the wood. Of the wood, of the hood. Okay, Acacia, I'm gonna leave here. But this I can just make into this. Okay. I wanna use it like this. Is this? Okay. This is pretty much what I wanted. So I've got this, 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 and one more crafter. Table, table, crafting table, where are you? Okay. So let's go down. Really fast. And we are no more the little weakling that we were in the beginning. I'm gonna create a few, I mean, I don't need it because I have the sticks to free. I will need it like this. <laughs> okay, so let's take it. And let's go down. I'm gonna show you the power of Wayne Miner. <laughs> For example, we were down here, right? And then there to the right, if I remember well. Oh yeah, I don't need to be scared of them anymore because the weapons are already stronger. Okay, okay, I take it back. I take it back, the creepers are still strong. Yep, that's true. 
and this is the place where we found the uh, three pieces of chromatic iron and right now I'm gonna show you probably a cut to the second time where I found chromatic iron. 24 minutes later of strip mining and vein mining. Oh, and we are here. What's this? Like this. Baby, 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 baby. <gasps> this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Finally, after hours and hours. Okay, I need to... Lighten up this area a little teeny weeny bit. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Go away. Do I have sticks? Yes, I have, but I don't have what I want to have. Okay, mm, this can go away. I, yeah, you see, <laughs> this is one way I can heal, just up and heal. Okay, I can use this to pick up the wa uh, valuable stuff. Yep. So it's up. What did I get? What did I get? Ah, uh just -huh. plate, potion, ink. This can go away. Okay, let's dig. Okay, but firstly, I'm gonna get the dia, diamondo. This and it did. It's these. I can press one. See? Chromatic iron ore. Those two are way too similar looking. Okay. Don't say this everything because if yes, I'm gonna cry. Come on. Really? Only six? Okay, guys and girls, I'm gonna be nice to you and I'm gonna cut to you to the last cluster of chromatic iron I'm gonna find. Luckily, it only took two minutes to find it. Okay, 54. <gasps> yes! 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 You see it? You see it? Can you see it? Okay, let's get it. Finally, quest complete. I'm gonna dig out the whole area. I don't care. As you can see, it's a one big whole chunky area. That goes here. Diamonds too. Okay, I need to pick this away, so I give this here, here, and here. Okay. As you can see, preservance. After three and a half hours of digging and even one vault pre-run, I did get the tools to find something. Okay, so I give H. No. Quests. Complete. I get some ingots. Waldstone, 16. Complete the quest. Quest. 
I get more ch chip rocks. So I need to craft a world rock. Which I can finally go home for to. At least Eureka. I'll cut to the surface. Or not? Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay, this is dangerous. If the shields were a little bit better, it would be a lot easier. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let's create a world crystal. So the quest line was craft a world truck, acquiring rank a world altar. So, world crystal, complete a world crystal, so, okay, what did, what happened, a 5, no, uh, F10, Okay, somehow it, oh yeah, it's here, okay. Somehow it happens, <laughs> uh, yeah. So what do we have here? Diorite, stone, granite, cobblestone. So, you and complete. Uh, do I have to click it or is it already complete? No. Nope. As you can see, I'm gonna get a second. Nice. Press two quests. Yes, I get the second shulker box. And then I got a free skill point and a lot better meat. Better enchanting. Acquire a world enchanter. Oh yeah, World Enchanter. This, this one. A chromatic blocks and two emeralds. See, good thing I didn't uh, use up the emeralds. Okay, I'm gonna use this up and this up. Oh no. I need to mine. I need to get a little bit of coal, as you can see, quite easy. I'm just gonna destroy the whole mount uh, mountain top. <laughs> Pure evil. Yes. Okay, this is the food for the world. You go here. As you can see, after just one world run, we've got enough chip rocks for a lifetime. Because the most of the stuff you're gonna get from the worlds. And these, I mean, currently it's enough as I have them. Stool, iron two, some lapis. It's getting dark. Is it a thunderstorm? Yes, probably. Eight. Seven. Oh yeah, I need to do this. So I need two books and obsidian. For obsidian, 
Great wave point. Yeah, for the obsidian, I'm just gonna run the, there. But before that, before I do any stupid thing, I need to, yep, yeah, like this. That's the way we uh, Walt Hunters are using the dash. Oh man. How oh, much time did it already pass? Oh, almost four hours. Nice. As you can see, if I have the number one button, you can even see the progression of the breaking. Yes. Okay, let's go here. And I can just break this one. Because I want to have a little bit in the reserve. You do get me, right? And this one too. That should do it more or less. Do I see some coal here? I can see some coal here. Oh, I can with a plus sign make a waypoint. Okay, so I want to press tab. Okay, what do we have? What do I need? Oh yeah, we don't want to go fall asleep because that would be counterproductive for the Lytra. I almost forgot about that. As you can see. Because I for myself am quite sleepy. What more do I need? Got this, 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 uh, books. Oh, thanks God. <laughs> I'm a butcher of the rabbits. The rabbits hate me. I don't care. Okay. Okay, so for this, I need this. For this, I need two diamonds. And two of them. Yes. We've got a world enchanter. Okay. You can go back. World enchanter is the thing which we needed. <laughs> the librarian for it. So you can just say. I can give this one guy, little guy here, back. Because we didn't trade with him. I can just make this. And this. Yep, pretty much it. It's not needed anymore. Because this thing is doing the same thing as the librarian. Let's see, let's go to the quests. Got 20 emeralds. World potions, craft a while. Hmm, I want this one. A red cap, bamboo, or poppy. Poppy, red cap, or bamboo. Oh, yeah, this thing. Looting. And I can here uh, make efficiency and so on, but currently it doesn't really have any uh, use for that. Red cap, bamboo, poppy, nothing of the sort. Where are we? Oh, yeah. The poppies are here. I mean, I can just. 
or like this and this. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Invisible to the naked eye. I'm gonna make a little cut to it. Ooh, there are a lot of witches. Witches. Oh, puppy. Okay, we can go back. Oh, the five percent shield shield me. Oh yeah, puppy. Puppy. Okay, no, I'm quite safe. I mean, the red cap would be a bit better, but I don't really care. I'm gonna get it sooner or later, anyway. Do do do. Okay, that was close. Okay, I've got this one. So I need the bottle, so I need sand. And one of them. So I need this, this, and sand. Three pieces. Yep. And that should be my last night. The next night is gonna be the Phantom Night. Okay, let's go. Oh. One, two, and three. Oh yeah. Um. Where is it? Uh, feather falling, and this guy's goals is how you enchant just five emeralds and one point of levels. Easy, right? It's amazing. And the strider, yep, the two enchantments I really need. But I can use the aqua affinity on the helmet. The rest are pretty much non-existent currently. Respiration, yes. Okay. I got away while... A while while. Okay. And if I'm hungry... See? And after a few min five minutes, it's gonna be restored the whole charge. But only inside the walls. I mean, when I do have you already here. Woohoo! I didn't even need to finish the quest. You're asking, why are you doing this? Because I need this. Because I need to do this. And after this, the quest is complete. I got on the pearl because I need to enter a vault and then craft me uh, this one. So I need a pouch. This one. A shard pouch. Okay, what do I want? This. If I have a pouch onto me, I can just drop it at the moment. Yep, it's everything inside. If I want them, I can just like this, right click and open. Okay, that should do it. Okay, we are pretty much ready for the next world or the next world run. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Oh, can I make it like... No, I cannot. That's gonna be it for this episode. We're gonna see us in the second one. And I'm gonna try to trim it down a little bit, but I mean, I did cut it in half. You know what? Most of the stuff will be recorded and will be just gone out like a one big video. I'm not gonna be cutting out a lot of stuff. Just some little bits and pieces, you know? 
you wanted Minecraft back. I mean, some people definitely want it, but I do think that they did not think it would be World Hunters. I mean, we got a month and one week before us, before the next big update, I thought, yeah, why not start it right now? And play it like once a week or twice a week. Do a few hour sessions, because a bit later, down the line, we're gonna need to uh, run a lot of vaults to rise up the level, so yeah. And if we want to get to level 100, it's gonna be quite hard. It's gonna be a big grind too, so yeah. It's exponential, the leveling curve, uh, similar to what in uh, Path, on Path of Exile, yeah, it's the same way. So yeah, that should be it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'm gonna thank you all for watching, stay healthy and we're gonna see us in the next video. Goodbye and subscribe and press like, okay?